Cisco Passport 2 features an incredibly intelligent display interface which allows the user to evaluate patient status. Data is presented clearly, concisely, and logically. Waveforms are aligned to digital data for immediate interpretation. Graph endless displays are easily configured to personal preference. The 4 Auto Set Alarm program is quickly configured and easy to use. Personalized custom settings retained on the PCM CIA cards assure quick setup. Most configurations feature 6 waveforms, 3 or 5 lead ECG with ESU noise rejection, lead selectable respiration, NIBP, Massimo set motion tolerant SPO2, and temperature. Open the battery compartment door on the left side of the unit. Press the release button located on the right side of the batteries. This will eject the old battery and you can slide it out. Slide in the replacement battery until it clicks into place. Close the battery compartment door by sliding the door to the right. Start. Remove the water trap by pushing the latch to the right. If the gas module is actively collecting a sample, the monitor will display an air leak message and sample collection will stop. Pull down the reservoir from the water trap in order to remove it. Empty out the remaining contents and rinse only with water. Push the reservoir back into the water trap and insert it back into the gas module, making sure it latches. The monitor should no longer show the air leak message if previously displayed. Thanks for watching. Have a Locate the COM port. This is an optional port on the back of your passport, too. Remove the COM port by loosening the screw and gently separating it from its connector. Place your new COM port into the slot and make sure the connection is secure. Then tighten the screw to secure your COM port. The next step is to program your serial ports. This can be done in installation mode. With the passport off, hold down the discharge button and turn the monitor on. This will bring you into the installation mode. Here you will be able to adjust the serial port settings for serial port 1 and serial port 2 or other various connections. Once you have adjusted the serial ports to your desired settings, click save settings and turn the monitor off. Open the recorder door by pressing the paper eject button. Remove the old paper spool by pulling it out gently. Place your new paper spool between the two rounded tabs, making sure that the paper feeds from the bottom. Align the paper across the top of the metal bar and close the recorder door while holding the paper in place. Hold a loose edge to ensure that there are no jams. We verify the connections of the ECG leads to the patients. We have an ECG simulator, but you'll be making sure that the leads are making good contact with the skin. If the ECG still isn't reading correctly, go to the main screen. Scroll over to the parameter section and hit select. Scroll down to ECG and hit select. Scroll down to the ECG setup and hit select. Scroll down to the ECG cable and then select the number of leads that your unit has. Verify that the ECG waveform is now on the front screen. To save the settings, scroll over to monitor setup and hit select. Scroll down to save current and select it so that your monitor will now boot up in the correct setting. First, press on the Limits button found under the Alarms column on the front screen panel, which will take us to the Alarm Limits menu. In order to change acceptable range of systolic, diastolic, or mean NIVP, or your SpO2 sensor respiratory values, click Set Limits and click on the corresponding range you wish to change. The first click will change the upper limit, the second click will change the lower limit, and the third click will return you to the menu. Auto set will set alarm limits according to the patient's baseline vitals. The alarm setup section will allow you to change alarm limits for various parameters as well as set new periods, alarm delays, and turn alarms on or off. In order to save the changes made to alarm limits, return to the main display screen, click on monitor setup, and press save current. Thanks for watching, have a great day. First, go to monitor setup and select. Scroll down to advanced setup. Here you'll find the set date and set time options. They will save automatically once you input the correct values. Thank you for